Hey everyone, uh, this is going to be a bookshelf tour. Um, we have quite a few bookshelves in our house. This is where most of the books live. Um, this is what my bookshelf in my office normally looks like. Um, I like decorative things, obviously. There's some Blythe books and um, photos and little mementos. So I'm going to go ahead and clear those out of here. Uh, and then I have my cat bus and I don't know why I bought that. I thought it would be collectible at some point. It's not like the old strawberry shortcakes. There's a uh, Care Bears lunchbox. I'll do a room tour at some point, but my shelves aren't quite up yet. So, uh, anyhow, so here's my bookshelves. Um, I'm going to go from my office into my husband's office and show you all of our stuff. So, let me clear these out and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the top shelf. I'm going to start from the top and work down. Um, this is kind of like classics and things that I have yet to read. Um, some of these are college books, The Lays of Marie, uh, De France, um, Adventures of Augie March. Uh, those are two that I had to read in college. Up the Down Staircase I have not read yet. Color Purple haven't read. James Joyce haven't read. Uh, Poe, Sophie's Choice, um, some John Updike, John Cheever. Gone with the Wind, uh, Scarlet, actually the sequel, Uncle Tom's Cabin, which I have yet to read, Watership Down I have yet to read, um, Randy Posh's Last Lecture, love this, uh, they have the video up on YouTube, it's amazing, Walden, don't know if I'll ever get to reading, um, some modern fiction, I'm Not the New Me, uh, two of the Wrinkle in Time books, Middlemarch have yet to read, Poisonwood have yet to read, uh, one of Eli Weiss's uh, memoirs, Ahab's Wife. Some of these I've talked about before, so a lot of stuff I have yet to read on that shelf. This is my Steinbeck collection. Um, I have uh, one of the biographies and a cookbook from the Steinbeck house in Monterey, actually in Salinas, but um, I've been there. Their food is amazing. It's this little group of older ladies that runs it now, um, but you can go visit the house he was born in in 1902. Um, so these are all, you know, East of Eden. Um, this is his letters that he wrote. Uh, and these are all of the other books that I have. And then over here I have some like miniature little classics. Um, Tale of Two Cities, Emerson's Essays, uh, Journals of Sylvia Plath, uh, Dickens, Streetcar Named Desire, Animal Farm Catcher in the Rye. Uh, down here, oh I can actually sit down. Um, these are my Dark Tower books. Uh, Stephen King series. Love this series. If you haven't read it, I recommend you check it out. It's not like the horror books that Stephen King writes. It's more of like a sci-fi, western, um, epic tale, uh, Lord of the Rings type thing. I absolutely love these. There's uh, seven books in the series, and he is going to be releasing a book, a uh, 4.5 book, I think this year. So I'm excited about that. Um, what else is down here? This was a book... Um, from when I was in fourth grade, I think, I wrote a poem and it got into this little book from the school that I went to. Uh, Eat, Pray, Love, Melancholy Death of Oyster Boy by Tim Burton. This is an amazing book. Um, Winesburg, Ohio by Sherwood Anderson. Uh, it reminds me a lot of Steinbeck. Heart of Darkness, which I had to read eight million times in college. I grew to like it. I hated it at first when I read it in high school. Joy Luck Club, uh, Remains of the Day. These are all my Lori Nataro books. Um, some Dave Barry. I was really into Dave Barry for a while. I used to read him in the paper all the time, and I don't know. I probably should get rid of those because I probably won't reread them, but he's very funny. Down here, um, I have my C.S. Lewis collection, uh, Black Boy, some more Emerson, T.S. Eliot, Raisin in the Sun, Brothers Kazimov have yet to read, Gatsby I've read, obviously, and taught it, uh, Freedom Rider's Diary, House of Sand and Fog, um, these are all to be read, basically. Songs in Ordinary Time. This is, I think, in a recent video I showed all books that are on my to be read pile. Uh, In the Woods, The Mermaid Chair. Haven't read those either. I don't think I've read hardly any of these. I read this version of the truth, kind of silly. Um, Nazi Ideology and the Holocaust. When I was teaching, I got a kit on the Holocaust. This was in it. It's actually a really neat kit. Um, Eccentric Glamour. Marge Piercy Poems, uh, Gift from the Sea. This is a really neat book um, by Anne Morrow Lindbergh. It's just kind of like a philosophical book. It's kind of got a feminist tone to it, but um, lots of little kind of snippets about life, and it's kind of a neat book. Um, Chicken Soup, 
Wealthy Barber and Susie Orman. I should read those. We also have the Dave Ramsey book lying around somewhere. Um, and then down here on the last shelf, um, some of my teaching books, English Teacher's Companion, Writing Life Stories, Rookie Teaching, Idiot's Guide, uh, Reluctant Disciplinarian, some grammar books. A lot of these my husband picked up for me. Don't know if I'll give them to a friend or not. I don't think I'm going back into teaching. Um, chicken Soup for the Teacher's Soul, Chicken Soup for Teenage. The kids really liked these when I had them in the classroom. Uh, Catfish and Mandala, Siddhartha, which I absolutely hate, <laughs> Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance, have yet to read, uh, Anna Green Gables collection, and then just some silly little books down here, um, Dumb Dates and Frustration Book and stuff like that, Red Meat, which is a comic strip, I loved this, I don't read it anymore, but this was a really funny comic strip, um, and then I have a box set of the Little House on the Prairie books, um, I picked that up at a... Uh, thrift store for like 10 or 15 bucks I think. I was really excited about that to have them all in one place for when I have children. So that's basically what's in here um, and then I'll go take you into the other room. Okay so we also have three bookshelves in here. Small one, a large one, and another large one. Um, we have one over here but we don't really use this for much. It's just some of my uh, husband's Cisco Linux technical hoopla and some notebooks down there, so that one's not being used currently. Um, a lot of these are my books, some of them are his. I tend to have way more books than he does, but um, this is, let's see, kind of a collection of different stuff, classics and um, children's lit. Uh, let me see if there's anything highly significant. Um, Such a Pretty Fat by Jen Lancaster, I really like her books, there's that. Uh, Shakespeare, Chinua Chibi, Paulo Colo, I love The Alchemist, I, uh, I gave that to my dad to read, Dream Dictionary, <laughs> Woo! Misfortune by Wesley Stace, these are all books I have yet to read, I read The Friendship Test, The Thurber Carnival by James Thurber, uh, Ava Luna by Elizabeth Lendy, haven't read that either, Drinking Coffee Elsewhere by Zizi Packer, she was actually one of my college professors, um, she taught for, I think, a semester or two. She's a really interesting person. Didn't really care for her class, but um, I think the book is really good. Uh, Native Son, haven't read it yet. Um, Gerda Weissman Klein, All About My Life. I got this also in that Holocaust kit, um, along with the DVD. Really sad story. I like Holocaust fiction, though. Romanoff and Juliet, uh, All Creatures Great and Small, haven't read. Yearling, I think I read this in fifth grade. Loved this book. Um, M.C. Higgins the Great, haven't read that since I was a kid, Flowers for Algernon, Mr. Popper's Penguins, Where the Red Fern Grows, love this, uh, The End of the Six Happiness, haven't read, and The Chocolate War. A lot of these I got, um, one of the schools I was at, I was working in the library, and they cleaned out the library, and I got to take home a bunch of books, which are all these, hence the library tags on them. So I grabbed all the classics that I haven't read yet, um, along with a copy of The Pearl by Steinbeck. So it's Family Robinson, The Happy Prince, Three Musketeers, Rebecca of Sunnyside Farm, Sunnybrook Farm, Robinson Crusoe, Les Mis, David Copperfield, Count of Monte Cristo, Gulliver's Travels, uh, Red Old Man the Sea, love that. Joe's Boys, uh, Invincible Louisa, which is, I think, a um, uh, biography, Complete Tales of Uncle Remus, um, Big Red, these were about dogs, I remember reading these, I think, in like fourth or fifth grade as well, um, about these, you know, um, this, basically it's a boy and his dog, kind of similar to Where the Red Ferns Grows, Where the Red Fern Grows, um, Story of the Van Trapp Family Singers, uh, Chaucer, Alice's Adventures Underground. This is a neat old book um, my husband's mom gave to me. And then down here I have The Story of Roland, Great Train Robbery, a lot of other stuff I still haven't read. Um, these are all actually on my husband's list. I think I gave some of these to him and some of them were already here. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Welcome to the Monkey House and Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut. There's Charlie making his appearance. Um, Science Fiction of Isaac Asimov, The Island by Aldous Huxley, uh, Ishmael, which I started reading and couldn't get into it, um, what else, Stone Soup, I Am the Cheese, House on Mango Street, Stargirl, these are some of my young adult lit. These are all, um, I found these in my parents' attic, but these are all from when I was a kid. These are the Serendipity books. I was so excited to find these. And then over here, 
are all my little Mr. and Mrs. books. So I'm so excited for when I have children and I have all these things to read to them from when I was a kid. So these guys are all down here. All right, and then moving on to, let's go from bottom to top. Um, random stuff all thrown together. Uh, Jules, one of Jules' books, Germany. Um, Dave Ramsey, Guide to Wiring. Uh, this book is so funny. My husband and I saw this um, when we first started dating at the bookstore, and we thought it was hilarious because he has a grouchy cat. So I got this for him for one of our birthday anniversary type things. I just thought it was a funny book. Mr. Puskins, the scratchy cat. Alright, up here, uh, Odyssey and Homer on uh, tape, I think, by Ian McKellen. We haven't listened to it, it was a gift. Um, these are all my Norton anthologies from college. Moving up here, uh, Reign of Gold. This is one of my all-time favorite books. I love this. If you haven't read it, you definitely should. It's beautifully written, and halfway through I figured out that it was a autobiography. <laughs> or, well, it, it's the story of uh, his parents. Jane Eyre and Pride and Prejudice and Wuthering Heights, which I have not read. These I got from Costco. I know, I know, I should, I should. Uh, Margaret Atwood. Margaret Atwood, Margaret Atwood. I like her books a lot. I haven't read three of these. I've read The Handmaid's Tale. My Antonia. Love this. Um, the Known World, haven't read. Some more Willa Cather. Uh, Sophocles, Crying of Lot 49, which is a mind trip. Um, had to read this in college as well. Learned to appreciate it, but very difficult read. Uh, some Neil Gaiman. Uh, George Burns. My dad gave me this to read, haven't read it yet. My husband's Scotch Collection, because he thinks he's a sophisticated drinker. <laughs> He just wanted to learn more about scotch. It's kind of funny. It's kind of cute. Um, Ariel by Plath, Mac, uh, Macbeth, Farewell to Arms, which I hate, but this was a gift uh, on audio. Hate this as well. Anna Karenina hated it. I took a uh, senior seminar class, and it was all like basically stories about adultery. I was like, oh, that's great to graduate college with. Um, Bradbury. What else is in here? Alice Hoffman. Another Sherwood. Anderson Winesburg, Ohio. I love this um, author, Pamela Ribbon, with one B. She wrote Why Moms Are Weird and Why Girls Are Weird. Uh, some Robert Frost, Carrie Pilby. This is another really funny book for like chick lit. Super cute. Bell Jar, love it. Uh, Brave New World, White Tiger, another really good book. Um, this is all my husband's stuff mostly. So there's George Martin, uh, Chuck Klosterman, Palinaic, which I've given him. I love Palinaic. Invisible Man, another one of my all-time favorites by Ralph Ellison. Uh, Fast Food Nation, Jack Kerouac, 1984, Virgin Suicides. Uh, so, some interesting stuff. And then the last bookshelf up here. Um, this is some more classics, kind of Atlas Shrugged. I need to read that. They're making a movie of it. Catcher, um, some Salinger books. Another 1984, Isaac Asimov, uh, Charles Bukowski, Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night, Faulkner, uh, William Carlos Williams, and then these are all kind of uh, bigger books, Bible books. Um, we're not really religious, but he likes to have these for some reason. I think we've read through some of them and kind of flipped through them for reference. Um, down here are some art books, Monet and the Impressionists. Um, these are some books that his brother gave to us of Mice and Men. Um, this is a really nice copy of it. Um, what else is in here? These are decorative books. Farewell to Arms, Henry, and War and Peace. These are all decorative. Don Quixote, uh, Portrait of an Artist, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Nice books. Atlas of the World. And then these are some more kind of eclectic. Um, my husband really likes video games and stuff like that, so he has some of those. Trigger Happy, I'm 8-Bit, Joystick Nation. Um, then we have Hemingway, Dune. Uh, complete works of Lewis Carroll, some more Anne Rand, some more Neil Gaiman, Isaac Asimov, uh, some of my Stephen King books. Somewhere in some box, somewhere, we have a bunch of Dean Koontz books. I don't know whatever happened to him. I had every book he had. And then just some miscellaneous stuff down here. Um, this is actually kind of cool. Stephen King. It's a pop-up book of The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. So anyhow, that is everything. Um, there's a few books hiding around the house that we're either reading or keeping the bathroom or whatnot. And then this is all a pile of um, 
either donations or giving to the used bookstore. So we'll see. Some of those are in pretty thrash condition. Some of them are duplicates, stuff we don't need anymore. There's a bag of them by the front door too. So uh, I hope you enjoyed and if you have any questions let me know. Um, yeah, and if you guys have any bookshelf tours of your own I'd like to see. Um, so hopefully that was thorough enough and not too rambly. I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.